Best Fiend Stars for sponsoring this video. Hey guys, you know what? I'm gonna say hey girl hey because it's been a minute. Hey girl hey! What is up you guys? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're doing adding too much ingredients into slime. But before we begin, you've all heard of Best Fiends and I am so, so, so excited to be playing this game again because I already love Best Fiends in general and I'm so excited for a new Best Fiends. Best Fiends Stars. Best Fiends Stars is so cool because you can team up with your friends and family and match and blast your way through so many levels and puzzles. And you could download it right now for free. I am matching my way through level 37. I am on level 37 already and let me tell you that if I thought I was addicted back then I'm addicted now collect tons of cute characters and comment down below what level have you gotten to be the first to play stars for free by clicking the link in my description box and back to the video let's get started there is so many different add-ins that you can add into slime and that's why there's millions of these videos on the internet I've only done it one time and I was like yo I've only done this once I have different ingredients that I didn't use in part one. One that I haven't done is gold leaves. Talisa Tosola has probably done this because she is the queen of adding too much into slime videos and she was actually the one that inspired me to do the first video. We got an eight ounce of clear. So we have some gold leaf right here. We have 50 sheets. Look at all this gold leaf. Okay there's 25 in each. My favorite part about this is poking it. We're gonna add this so far and we'll go in with more. Like, come on, look at that. Are you kidding? Okay, I need to shut up. We have 25 leaves in here right now. Ooh. This is definitely enough. There is 50 gold leaves in here. Leaves. There's just too many in here to the point that I can't really stretch it much. I mean, you can, but it's tough. It's getting tough. It looks really pretty, but I think that's as much as an eight ounce could hold. Okay, next up is a little weird. We don't have a lot of them, but Alex did get them online, which I'm really excited about. We have teeth. They're not human teeth, like they're not actual teeth. I'm assuming they're like the model teeth that a dentist would use. Also, this add-in is for fun. There's not a lot to add. Like this is all we have. This is about how much teeth? How many teeth? 168 teeth. I'm gonna go in with this much slime. So, Ew, oh my god, this is so weird. This is so weird. Oh my god. Ew. But then like once they're in there, they kind of don't look like teeth. Oh my gosh, it just feels weird. It feels crunchy-ish. Feels like beets. It's just weird. Oh my gosh, it feels so weird. Well, that was random. Okay, so I got a lot of female slices. This is a lot of female slices, and I want to use all of these. I think I'm actually gonna go in with an eight ounce because I don't think a six ounce is gonna hold up all these female slices. 
if you're wondering how many female slices like how much there is this is a 32 ounce container and we just filled up what seems almost like half oh my god uh, so many female slices this is already getting crunchy We've used about half of the 32 ounce. Whoa. I don't know if this could hold more. No, it can't, it can't. I think I could fit them all here though. Like I feel like I could fit them all in. Let's see if an eight ounce could hold 32 ounces of female slices. Oh my God, this is just wrong. This is just wrong. Oh no, no, no. Guys, I don't know if this could happen. Is it possible? Is it possible? Everything's possible. Come on. You know what? We're going to add in just a tiny bit, like one ounce. Because I really want to collect all these female slices into the slime. Whoa, this is so, so tough right now. Dang, that's a lot of female slices. So much. Okay, this is my favorite one so far. The crunches are just literally endless. And this, let me tell you that this has to weigh like a pound. Easily like two pounds. Glitter. Glitter. It's time for glitter. These are chunky glitters and let me just show you these. They're hollow stars. Ooh, more hollow. Okay, girl, that might be a lot of hollow. We have some purple glitter. We have some more of those chunky glitters. Oh, look at those pretty blues. Okay, this might be really pretty. It's just that when there's so much in the slime, like, can you actually see how beautiful it is? Okay, you see this amount of glitter right now, I think is beautiful. Why can't we just leave it like this? Here goes nothing. Oh my God, oh my God. So much glitter, so much glitter. Ah, I just have to do it. I just have to do it. Oh. You know what? I feel like I could use some more pinks. It's a lot and I don't know how to feel about it. It's literally a ball of glitter. I did something similar to this. It's giving me Lord DIY vibes because we made a pink clear slime one time and we used very, very similar glitter, but it was more on the pink side. And I think it could hold more. Oh. Famous last words. Okay, I don't know what it is, but when I add a lot of pigment or glitter to slime, it starts getting like a, a stick to it, like a tacky feel. And I don't like it. How much can it hold? Too much pink and purple. Oh my God. This is a lot, y'all. This is a lot. Oh my gosh, how much glitter do we need? Okay, I think that's enough glitter because it's literally hurting my hands. Like, it does not feel nice anymore. You feel the glitter, like, with every poke, every touch, everything. All right, next up is fishbowl beads. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna color. I'm gonna die. Color. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> Tragic. I'm gonna go ahead and color my slime yellow. Okay, oh my gosh, this is such a pretty slime. Okay, I need to stop playing with it because then it's gonna get really foggy. Ooh. Fave.
Whoa, y'all hear that? There is so much beads in here. 15.5 ounces. That is all I could do. Honestly, even this is hard to stay in. You could get the stretch if you try and you go really slowly, but even this is a lot. That crunch though. This is so many beads. We have a lot of clay in front of us right now. It's like a lot of bricks combined. Every brick is a thousand grams. Let's see how much this 32 ounce could hold. Oh, I just, oh, okay. The good thing about this clay is that it's so soft, but this thing is huge. Huge. I love this clay though because no matter how much you add, the clay is just really nice. It's a lot of clay though, like way too much. This is like the amount of clay you would add, not even to a gallon, huh? Okay, this honestly just feels like clay. Just straight up clay. This is so much clay. Like this feels like pure clay. Like just, just clay more than anything. This video was so, so satisfying, but my hands, they're a little tired, my fingers. And that just about wraps up this video. Let me know down below what other really cool things can you mix into slime. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you could have any of these slimes, which one would it be? If I had to pick my favorite one, it would be, I was gonna say female slices, but this one right here is so soft. I don't know, maybe it's just the clay that's so bomb. Don't forget to download Best Fiends Stars in the link in my description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.